y'all welcome back to my youtube channel wait can y'all hear me what's good y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today we'll be doing a question and answer um what's today the today's the fourth on the third i put on my snapchat story a little link the you know what i'm talking about so you can like ask questions anonymously and whatnot and i got about like 20 25 questions out of all the people that be watching my story like 25 like what the fuck I'll be getting a lot of viewers, but like I'm just saying, like I could have got at least a little bit more. But anyway, um, I'm gonna be answering like 12 or 14 of them. If y'all like hear me like sound different a little bit or whatever, or coughing, I'm sick. I'm yeah, I'm sick. I'm gonna be stuck in my room for a couple of days, so I'm like, I might as well push out a video, you know? Might as well. I ain't doing shit else, right? Left? Nope. Right. Right. So yeah. All right, first question is, have you said I love you yet? <sighs> sadly. I mean, no, I wouldn't say sadly, but you know, I have. I have. Um, long story short, um, I said it twice actually, but the first time, it don't count. First time don't count. Because first of all, I was 13 turning 14. And we was only talking for like one day. And he 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 manipulated me. And first day he talking about some I love you. You know it's my first boyfriend. I don't know better or something. I'm like, you know, I love you too. Like type shit, you know? Hey man. That don't count though. But the second time it was in um tech school. Um my boyfriend had a tech school. Um, it was like it was mutual though. Like he almost said it first, but he didn't. Because he was so scared. But he was like throwing hints at it. So like I just said it. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Nigga, I love you. <laughs> yeah. You know, see each his own. Look at me now. Single. Looking stupid. It's whatever though. <sighs> yeah, I said I love you before. But we need to pass and pass. Um, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Next question. So the second question is, <laughs> what was your most um, embarrassing moment in high school? What was your favorite? And we're definitely going to start with the most embarrassing. So it was senior night. Okay. <laughs> so I used to play basketball. Actually, you're not even going to say that. I was on the basketball team on senior year. In senior year. During. I was on the basketball team during senior year. Did I word that correctly? Am I having an autism attack? I was on the basketball team senior year. Okay, yeah. So I was, I, I played, you know, there, bench warmer, the usual. And so it was senior night. Gabby, mind you, Gabby's carried the team. Gabby, she passed me the ball. We had like a couple minutes left. We was already, we was busting whoever team we was playing. I think it was like performing arts. We was already winning. So Gabby passed me the ball. I take the ball. Mind you, I'm like two inches from the three-point line, so you know, I do a little step back. But I realized I didn't step back far enough, so I step back again. Mind you, that's four steps. <laughs> I stepped back twice, and everybody started cracking up. Oh, <laughs> like even the, the referee, he was like, he was confused, and he was laughing, so he was like, what the fuck? And mind you, I'm near the crowd, so like my cousins, my aunt, and my mom is standing, I mean, sitting right there in the, on the bench. But I hear my cousin talking about some, uh-oh, I ain't teach her that. <laughs> Gabby looking at me like, man, that was the funniest shit ever. Oh, my God. I wish somebody would have recorded that. Somebody probably do got that video. I don't know. I need to find it, though. But, yeah. My most favorite, um, it's too hard to just, like, pick a favorite. But like one of my favorite like times is like during um I had this class called Green Tech and it was like a double period so we was in there for two periods and the teacher he was weak so we got away with everything like we would do anything we do anything in class random people come to our class every single day we would always be in the hallway just doing some coonery shit like I'm gonna start a video of David like just running into the lockers for no reason I just had no grip. 
Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, we will always do some random shit. Like, it'll be so funny. Um, yeah, so I would say, like, the grain tech period to be like my favorite memories. Alright, y'all. I'm back. It's another day. Um, I wasn't feeling too good in them other clips because, you know, I'm sick and whatnot. But it's two days later and I feel better. So, and I curled my hair. I feel cute. And so, we're about to continue this video. Yeah. The next question is What is the worst pickup line you ever heard? Boy. Boy. So, <laughs> so one day, somebody slid into my DMs, right? I feel like every girl that had this by now is so corny. Somebody slid into my DMs with a basketball. You already know where I'm going with this. They slid into my DMs with a basketball and talk about some, um, dang, what did he say? He said, uh, I don't know, something along the lines of shooting my shot and then, like, my ball is in your court type shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know. It's so corny. And guys, don't do that because that shit is hella corny. Like, I don't know. But yeah, that's the worst one. Um, so the next question is, um, at first I did not know what y'all was talking about when y'all asked this, but now I get it. It clicked. So it says, who is the baddest whitey from the stead? Like, I did not understand it, but then it clicked and I'm like, oh, so the high school I went to was called Olmstead and I'm guessing they asked, I'm guessing they asking who was the baddest white girl from Olmstead. That's, that's what I got from it. If it's wrong, I'm sorry, but whatever. So, um. I'll have to say, I'm not sure if she was white, I don't know what she was, but Maya Krantz, she is so pretty. Like, she was she was so pretty. Well, she is pretty. So, yeah, I would say Maya Krantz. Um, did I answer this question already? I'm not sure. Oh, I already answered this one, Never mind. Next. Where do you want to be in... I'm gonna do a straight cautious. Cinco years. I can you say it in French? Uh, I'm gonna do a twelve called Saint. Where do you wanna be in Saint years? I wish I could say that whole sentence in French. I'm about to, I'm about to look it up and see how you say it in French, cause <laughs> we bilingual. <laughs> how do you say? Actually, let me just go to the French to English or English to French. English. Where do you want? Ooh, I spell you wrong. How you spell you wrong? You want to be in. Où tu être dans cinq ans? Où vous? Où All right. Wait, wait. We got to. We got to practice it. Hold on. Où vous? Où tu être? Ooh, I just spit. Où vas tu être dans cinq ans? Où vas tu être dans cinq ans? Où vas tu se? Où va? Où vas tu? Oh, où vas tu? Où vas tu être dans cinq ans? Okay, let me say it with confidence. <clears throat> All right, so the next question is: Où vas tu être dans cinq ans? <laughs> She's biracial. She's biracial girl. She's a biracial girl. Made from a rainbow world. Uva to. Damn, I just forgot that quick. Uva to Atra Dance. Forget it. Where do you want to be in five years? Um, five years. How old would I be? What am I now? I'm 20 this year. 25. Let's say about 24, 25. Um, five years. I'll still be. Um, in the military because I signed six um, but I see myself um, obviously I want a bigger social platform you know um, yeah I plan on staying consistent with this YouTube shit um, bigger on TikTok shit might as well right TikTok Instagram you know I just want to have a social platform um, what else I see myself in a relationship within five years now if the question was where you see yourself in a year or two uh, relationship i don't know then again you know shit happens like nobody really ever stays self in a relationship that's not happy you know so 
I don't know. But I do want to be in a relationship. Um, I might. I'm thinking about re-enlisting. It depends. Um, I also see myself um, financially comfortable. Um, I do want to start like investing and expanding, you know, my horizon when it comes to like income. Uh, 25, 24, 25. I low key, low key, <laughs> low key. I see myself with a kid, with a son. I see myself with my first son. I want a boy so bad. Oh my god, I'm gonna jinx it because I keep saying that. But I do want a son. I'm definitely gonna be a staff. Why wouldn't I? But low key, I'm trying to make BTZ. I don't know if it's gonna work. If you don't know what BTZ is, just look it up. I'm gonna explain it. But I'm trying to make BTZ and you know rank up fast. I might end up being a tech sergeant and within five years. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what else? Um, I need to put on some chat for this. <laughs> Dry ass lips. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? My lip gloss is popping. But um. <clears throat> and I see myself definitely well I already see myself traveling this year I need, to, I need to get my passport oh my god I be lacking I'm lacking and get, I need my passport I'm already over here and me and my people we trying to like travel a lot this summer so I definitely need my passport so I'm gonna be traveling a lot and I wanna go to the Maldives I wanna go to the Maldives I wanna um go to what's that place called um Bath, I think it's it's called Bath. Yeah, just look it up. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, that's like the top top things I see myself in five years. Yeah, 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 trick, yeah. The boy, can I yeah, trick, yeah. Yo, what a rap, I really like. Yeah, trick, yeah. Move a little closer. Come closer. Okay, next question. This is a great question because it's so crazy. So it says, did you ever want siblings growing up or did you enjoy being the only child? So I, did, I always wanted siblings. Um, I always wanted an older brother. But I did enjoy being the only child. Um, anyway, so ironic because New Year's, this New Year's, I found out that on my dad's side, I have two older siblings and another younger sister. So I have an older brother, he's 28, and so is my older sister. And then my younger sister is 17? 17, yeah, she graduated this year. It's so crazy, like it's still crazy, like having the thought that I have siblings. Cause like I'm I'm 19 years old. So like I'll, all I know is being an only child. So I don't know, it's really crazy. And I have a nephew, like what? <laughs> Me, an aunt? I'm an auntie. I am an auntie. I keep forgetting that too. Like I be forgetting I have siblings. Like it's crazy. But um, yeah. So um, we have a group chat. We be talking and stuff. Um, Fred, my he yeah, he hate being called Fred. What he wanna be called? Uh, Ricky. He like being called Ricky. Ricky. He. <laughs> yo, me and him are just like like. Oh my god, it's crazy. That's my evil twin for real. And like I haven't even met him in person. Like it's just through like FaceTime and like group chat talking and whatnot. But um I do plan on going back home during the summer so we can all link. And yeah. But I do enjoy being an only child. I think I wouldn't be how I am right now if I wasn't only child because <laughs> I'm a crackhead, man. I don't know. Like you just gotta learn how to have fun with yourself when you're an only child, because like what else you gonna do? Sit there? No. You gonna enjoy life, you know? <clears throat> but yeah. That answers that. Um, are you looking to date someone right now? Next question. How many kids do you want? I want. <laughs> this is always my answer. Two, but three on the drunk night. Like, if I end up having a third kid, okay. But I ain't going no no further than three. Because three is already crazy. That's a crazy number. Like, who? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> who pushing three kids out of their vagina? Not me. But I might. 
I would say three, two, two or three. Um, low key, I want twins. I want boy twins. I do. That's it. Like I want that as like my first pregnancy, so I can just get it over with, you know. Yeah. But I say two or three. <clears throat> it says, are you gonna link up with other folks on base to do videos? Um, I have a couple people on mine. Um, I have a couple people on mine because they already like kind of do YouTube or did YouTube before, so I'm gonna link up with them. But I do like when it um start getting nice outside, I want to do like public interviews. Like I want to just go around base with my people and we ask some random questions, you know. Or like I might ooh, I might knock on random doors and ask something want to be my YouTube video and like interview them real quick, you know. Oh yeah. I need to write that down. Let me put that in my notes. But yeah, um, yeah, I do plan on linking up people on base. I might even go to the base, like, that's around the corner from us, too. So, um, do, like, some stuff. Oh, no, summer, summer is gonna be a good summer, okay? It gotta be. It's gonna be. It is. Which player knows you best? Huh? Which player knows you? What do you, what do you mean? <clears throat> Which player? I'm sorry, I keep coughing. I'm so sick, y'all. Which player knows you best? What are you talking? What are you talking about? <laughs> Which player knows you best? Player? Okay, I'm gonna just assume you talking about like my people here, like my friends here. Like, who knows me best? So, who knows me best out here? That's a great question. I don't know. I should do it. Who knows me best? Problem solved. So, I answer y'all question in a couple, you know, whatever video I do to, to answer your question. So, yeah. I'm going to do it. Who knows me best out of my friends? Do you have a crush on anyone? Next question. <laughs> Next question. That that low key sounds good. Let me do it again. <laughs> Let me use this side. I gotta hit the note. Next question. Yeah. I hit that shit. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I thought I stopped the video. That is so embarrassing. <laughs> so this is not a question, but <laughs> it says, "Tell me a funny joke." Now, if you know me, you don't heard this joke before, okay? But <laughs> I really like this one. Okay, why were people? This is a this is a horrible time to bring up Russia right now. Oh my god. But anyway, why were people running in Russia? Oh wait, I said it wrong. <laughs> okay, just for saying you will hear that. Why were people running in Europe? I kind of ruined the joke. Okay, why were people running in Europe? <laughs> because they were Russian. <laughs> I'm funny. All right. So the next question is okay. I really don't know how to answer this question, so I'm like kind of looking up on Urban Dictionary on what this means. But it says, "What is your biggest guilty pleasure?" I really don't understand the question, so I'm gonna look it up. When you enjoy a type of music or a particular program, but you are too ashamed to admit it, you listen to it, watch it with your to your friends or family. Oh, I mean, I guess I kind of understand the question. I'm just go with songs. This is one song that this dude named Connor in tech school put me on to. It's called Julia. Oh my God. Please listen to it. I love that song so much, okay? I be singing my heart out. It's that song and, um, oh, that one song. Okay. I'm begging, begging you to put your loving hand out. I love that song. I love that song so much. Um, yeah. But like on a different like topic, like I don't, 
know how to answer that because like i don't know what would be a guilty pleasure oh a lot of people judge me for this but i like i don't okay i don't have a type but it's something about like thick thick boys like like they got like a little bit of stomach but like they muscular too you know like the the teddy bear looking joints like it's something about it i don't know it's something about your girl it's something about the girl that just makes my head wanna twirl but yeah i like i like them thick but i like them skinny too I like a medium, I like a medium, medium. I don't have a type. I do, but I don't. You know, like, yeah. But yeah, that's that's another guilty pleasure. I think that was the last question. Yeah, I think I answered all of them. That is all. Well, all right. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, share this video with your people. My niggas been backwards this whole time. Nobody's gonna tell me. Y'all fake. I swear, all y'all, all, all y'all are fake. Don't tell me. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Keep tuning into my YouTube channel. Um, it's only gonna go up from here. Like I say, I'm gonna keep saying every video. It's only gonna go up from here. Okay. It's gonna go up. Like Donald Trump. She sleeping like lamb chest. She gonna chew you up. Twerk like she from Russia. Why is everything in Russia? And this is the wrong time to be talking about Russia. <laughs> wrong time. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe. Tune into my next video. If you haven't watched my previous videos, go watch them. They're kind of horrible because the quality is horrible. And it's my first time editing. But support anyway, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, make sure I share this video with y'all people. And tune in for the next video on Sasha Tajay's channel. Yeah. Elbows is... <laughs>